So do you guys want an amazing Diablo 4 farm where you'll earn tons of XP and levels, gold, legendary weapons and armor? Well that's what I bring for you today. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now before we get into it guys, if you're looking for people to play Diablo 4 with, join my Discord. I'm trying to build a small Diablo 4 family over there. So come join, share builds, play together, farm together, etc, etc. My Discord is linked down below. So I tested this real early on with what's known as a cellar. I'd basically complete it, kill everything within this cellar, collect all that gold, collect the loot, open that chest, and then I'd simply quit out of the game, then rejoin the game. I'd spawn at my nearest town, run back to said cellar in about 30 seconds, and rinse and repeat the farm. As leaving the game for some weird reason will reset the cellars, meaning you can farm them over and over, and this is a great way to earn things as a basically new player. But I've also noticed this method actually works with dungeons. I know this because I looked it up and saw a couple of other people have found this out too. I stumbled across a channel called Majestic Multi Gaming. If you watch and play Diablo, you probably already know about this dude, but if you don't, I'll link his channel down below. Do check him out and show him some love. He posted a video showcasing a similar way, but instead of quitting out the game, he'd simply leave the party he was in whilst inside of the dungeon as the party host. This would respawn him outside of the dungeon, meaning he can run straight back in and farm it again and again. But this does not work, obviously, if you're a solo player. You're playing by yourself. You have no party to leave. But there is a way to reset enemies within a dungeon and do it pretty quickly. And to do this guys, simply exit out of the dungeon, so leave the dungeon, then guys you want to quit out of the game and join back in. If you play on next gen or PC, this is literally a 10 second turnaround. Now there are many, many dungeons across this massive map you can use this with, but in my opinion the best dungeon to do this early on is Annika's dungeon located right here on the map. Now when you first come here, which you can do real early on, almost at any time, there will be a stronghold here you will have to complete beforehand, before you can even access these dungeons. Now the stronghold, if I do remember rightly, is a recommended level of a 15, but if you're in a team you can do this much much easier. But to complete this stronghold you simply have to uh, check out the free school markers on your map, travel to these or in the vicinity of the stronghold and kill all enemies within them. Then head back to the centre of the stronghold and take out this boss. He's pretty easy if you take him out from afar or if you have other means of doing so at close range where you can withstand his damage up close. But once you do take him out, kill any stragglers too, then activate the Wondrous Shrine. And then this little area will then populate and become a place you can trade, etc, etc. You will now have access to this dungeon and it's called, like I said, Annika's Dungeon. This is where you want to be farming all of those pretty goodies. So enter the dungeon and then just do a full circle of this area, as you can see on the map here. There are many, many enemies here. Some big dudes too who drop some outstanding loot. But yes, all you want to do is a circle of this area. Then guys, you want to leave the dungeon. As simple as that. So do a circle of this area, as you'll see me do now, speed it up on the screen. Open all those chests, kill all those enemies, collect all that gold, collect all that loot. Then you want to leave the dungeon. Do not quit at the game while you're inside of the dungeon, because if you do this, it will spawn you at your nearest town, which could be a two minute run back to this dungeon. So you want to leave the dungeon first, so leave the dungeon, then guys you want to quit out of the game and join back into your game. That way you will load back in right outside of this dungeon door, meaning you can go straight back into it and then farm away. And it really is as simple as that. So yes, leave the dungeon first, then quit out, load back in while you're outside of the dungeon. You will then spawn outside of the dungeon door, allowing you to go back in to rinse and repeat this farm. And again, you'll get tons of amazing loot, including legendaries, tons of gold via drops and selling seg gear that you don't need. And also guys, crazy amounts of XP if that's what you want to use this for. Remember, enemies will scale with your level so you can use this for as long as you want. Also remember, this can be done at any dungeon and I believe any place that drops loot, like those sellers, which is how I first figured this out. Now if you are in a party, 
and you're the party host to reset this you don't have to quit out the game you simply just leave the party and it should respawn you right outside this dungeon door invite your teammates back into your party rinse and repeat the farm it really is that simple but if you're a solo player like me run the circle within this anarchist dungeon leave the dungeon quit out the game load back in rinse and repeat there is a nearby vendor we can sell that gear you do not want to make tons and tons of money and there we have it guys an amazing diablo 4 farm which will see you earning tons of legendaries tons of xp and much much more guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more diablo 4 be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one